Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with West Ham. Now in today's episode we have Chelsea in the Champions League quarterfinals. Now we have never made it past the quarterfinals of the Champions League with West Ham. We stumble at this block every single time so I'm hoping this season will be the season where we take the next step. But of course we've got some fixtures that we've played in between episodes and the first of which was a 1-1 away draw against Liverpool which I actually felt like was a really really good result. Harry Milo did give us the lead in injury time of the first half but Fabinho got a penalty for Liverpool in the 66th minute and he dispatched it well. It was quite an even game as you can see by the stats and I think we've done well to come away from Anfield with a point. And then things got interesting in the league. Manchester United, we played them away from home. We actually had the better of the game, in my opinion. But in the 94th minute, Diego Dalot got them the goal, which gave them the three points, which meant the gap between first and second closed dramatically. We did then bounce back, though, against Manchester City at home and we beat them 2-0. Goals through Moise Keane and Danny Olmo getting us the three points. Now these runner fixtures have been absolutely huge, we're playing all of the big boys, we've played a lot of them away from home and as you'll see in just a second we've come away quite well. And finally the last game we played before we'll play Chelsea today was Tottenham Hotspur away from home. We managed to sneak away with the three points this time, Haramillo getting a goal in the second minute and that was it. The game just shut down completely and we managed to get away with it. So in terms of the Premier League, that leaves us sitting 10 points clear of Man United in second. After they beat us, I believe they got beat in their very next game. So it was quite tight. It, it was closing. The gap was closing. And obviously with the tough run of fixtures we had, I was worried a little bit that they might catch us up completely. But they have bottled it just as much as we did. 10 points clear with five games remaining. If we don't win the Premier League from this position, I think I will just retire. So, Champions League quarter-final day to day. And as you can see, these are the teams that will be playing. Man City against Monaco, Liverpool against Bayern, PSG against Roma and us versus Chelsea. Now, who do I want to go through? Monaco beat us last season in the quarter-finals. Uh, they obviously play Man City. Would, which one would I, I would actually prefer to play Monaco, to be honest with you? Man City absolutely dominated us in the League Cup final. So, you know, either or, I think I would prefer Monaco. In terms of Liverpool against Bayern, Liverpool have always been a thorn in our side, but we did have a 7-0 victory against them earlier in this season. But then again, in the past, we've beat Bayern in the Champions League, so I think 50-50 between that one, I wouldn't mind either or. A PSG versus Roma, I of course want Roma to absolutely smash PSG, please. But without further ado, this is the team that is going to play today's game against Chelsea away from home. Craig Davies will start in goal. Luis Felipe, Markovic and Panzo will be our centre-backs for today. Wagnermann and Aaron Martin as our wing-backs with Toussaint, Tenali and Beckyart as our centre midfielders. Harry Millo and Fabio Silva will lead the line. We've got Emerson, Tony Lauter, Ronaldo Vieira, Alexander Isaac who's just returned from injury. Reese Oxford, Danny Olmo and Moise Keane on the bench. I did actually take off Martin Watkins from the bench because he has just returned from a lower leg, uh, I think it was an upper leg fracture actually. So he's going to miss today's game but... We should be fine, hopefully. Chelsea line up with a familiar 4-5-1 formation. Three central midfielders and the two attacking wingers. Obviously, Chelsea have got a really good side, but we are dominating in the Premier League this season, whereas they, I think they're in fourth position currently. So you would expect us to be slight favourites going into today's game, but you just never know what happens in the Champions League, particularly with our side. So we kick off against Chelsea in this first leg, away from home. We need a good performance in the first leg. We need to hopefully not concede too many and get ourselves in a weird goal or two to see us comfortably into the next leg. It's been a very quiet opening 15 minutes here today. I mean, that's fine by me. If we go out with this game with a nil-nil draw, that's champion. Frank Kessie has picked up an injury for Chelsea, which is really, really good for us. Frank Kessie, one of the best centre and midfielders in the world. As Hazard takes a free kick on the edge of the... Oh, that's a penalty... How well, lads? Why are you giving away penalties? 33 minutes in, Eden Hazard, I'm assuming it is, steps up and he beats Craig Davies and he puts Chelsea 1-0 up. Decent penalty, Craig Davies goes the right way again, but he cannot get his hand to it. Well, a disappointing first half from us so far. Absolutely nothing in the way of highlights. And in fact, there's another highlight for Chelsea just before half-time. Benjamin Mendy with the ball on this left-hand side. He's got the beating of Wagner, man. He's going to get the ball in. Oh, and Doc Rea puts Chelsea 2-0 up 
in the first half. This is easy as you like for Mendy. Completely unchallenged. Wagnerman just trying to jockey him down. But it's no good jockeying down a left footed player down the line. You know, you've got to try and get him to cut inside and get under his weaker foot. But this game's just going away from us at the minute. And that's it. Half time. We are not performing very well. We haven't created any chances what to speak of. So we're going to change to the more attack and tactic. And hopefully that might see us do something. It will be nice. Yeah, we'll get uh, Danny Olmo on for Lucas Toussaint. And we'll see how we'll play now with the attacking midfielder. Highlight now. And we are in possession high up the pitch. But we give the ball away at the back. And it looks like it could be a Chelsea counter-attack. Jorginho plays through Calidio. He's thin behind the defence. Great save by Craig Davies to keep us in this leg. Because at 2-0 we are already struggling. If it goes down to 3-0. I don't know if it would turn that back in the second leg. The highlight continues though. As Benjamin Mendy plays it in. It's cleared by us, but only as far as Danilo. Good save by Craig Davies. But Doc Rare, Doc Rare, whatever the hell his name is, he puts Chelsea 3-0 up. You know, just sloppy defending. Look at how clumped we are there. Craig Davies with a decent initial save, but completely unmarked in the box. And now, we've just got to go for it now. We kind of just sit back. 3-0 going in. 3-0 down is just too much. We need a goal here. Wagnerman. Gives the ball away, but Haramillo wins it back. Tries to get the ball in as far as Becky out, but this looks like it's going to be a Chelsea counter-attack, if anything. Tenali spreads the ball at Aaron Martin on the left-hand side. Decent ball in. Somebody there. Haramillo's there. How's he missed that? And he's hit the post, and again, we're giving away our opportunities. Bring on Ronaldo, Vieira, Sandro, Tenali. See if he can spice things up a bit in the midfield, but to be honest with you, we don't deserve anything from this game. Um, Chelsea have dominated the match. And 3 0 is probably a bit fortunate for them, but if we get a goal here, it will be incredibly fortunate for us as Danny almost sets away Haram Miller and he manages to pull one back. We've got the away goal. This makes this tie a lot, lot more competitive. At 3 0, we are really struggling. At 3 1, there's a chance. And Haram Miller beats the back line, beats the offside trap. Initially kept it with a decent save, but Haram Miller gets it at the second bite of the cherry. Five minutes to go, we'll make our final sub. We'll get Aaron Martin off for Tony Lato. 30 seconds remain. This looks like it's going to be all she wrote for today's game. Hopefully, it's not another Chelsea counter-attack here. Fab Fabio Silva's actually in behind. Kept it with a decent save. That was actually a highlight. I just thought it was going to be one of them end-of-match highlights. There's a corner. You never know. Danny Olmo plays it in. And how can you blow for full-time there? We're in possession on the edge of their box and you blow for full-time. Absolutely ridiculous. But... 3-1, not good enough. In the other quarterfinal that was played today, Roma actually held PSG to a 0-0 away draw, which is fantastic for them. But it's going to take an absolutely huge, huge second leg from us to get through. So we had one Premier League game in between the two legs against Chelsea, and we've just played that against Crystal Palace and won 2 0. Aaron Martin in the 20th minute, Alexander Isaac coming back from injury, getting himself a goal in the 67th minute, uh, 62nd minute after coming on for an injured Fabio Silva. Right then, it's second leg day against Chelsea. We obviously need an absolutely massive performance from the boys today if we are to go through to the semi-final. So we are going to go with the more attacking tactic and Danny Olmo is going to start today's game. Craig Davies will be in goal. Philippe Bier, Oxford, Markovic centre-backs. Wagnerman, Aaron Martin as our wing-backs. Tonelli and Beckyard in the centre with Danny Olmo, Fabio Silva and Haramillo leading the line. We're going to, we're going to have to play well. So the... Boys have been G'd up. We have kicked off already against Chelsea. Eight seconds in. We are shooting from right to left in the first half. Obviously, we've gone pretty attacking in terms of how we are starting the game. We need to. We need to get the goals. We need to get the goals beyond them in case they get away goals and things like that. So, we've got a very, very early highlight. Two minutes in. Aaron Martin down this left-hand side. We all know he can beat the man. He's got through to Haramillo. Great save by Kepa. Aaron Martin with the corner. Christensen clears, but only as far as Haramillo. Can he get the ball back in the box? Come on. Aaron Martin to Tenali. Back to Becky. I'll take the strike, son. Fabio Silva. It's cleared. Another highlight. This time, Chelsea are in possession. We're 12 minutes in. We really need to stay... Uh, we really need to take control of this game and see what we can do. Wagnerman on the ball. On the right-hand side. He gets a through ball for Fabio Silva. Knocks it in the back. In there. Come on. 1-0 up. 3-2 on aggregate. We need another. Great start. Wagnerman doing excellently to find that through ball for Fabio Silva. He's done that plenty. 
and Silva with a great first time finish. Come on, boys. Highlight now. Aaron Martin with a free kick goes over the bar. Don't show me that unless it's going in. Another highlight. Chelsea were in possession, but Tenali pinches it. Can we keep hold of this and get an attacking opportunity out of it? Chelsea win back possession through Frank Kessie and it looks like they are going to break Benjamin Mendy on this left hand side. Fabio Silva working back and getting the challenge in absolutely excellently. But then Chelsea win it back. <laughs> Tenali on the ball now in the centre of midfield. Oh, there's loads of space for Aaron Martin. Becky Art, poor pass, could have picked him out. We would have been in there. It does find its way to Aaron Martin eventually, but he's marked up by number 13. Fabio Silva nearly puts us 2 0 up and gets his second goal for the game. 30 minutes in now, and we're back in possession. And it looks like Kessie, get him off, ref. Straight red. Absolutely disgusting challenge. Come on. They're down to 10 men. They have went. Um, they've took a striker off and put somebody back in at centre midfield. We need to take advantage of this now. We just need to go for it. Very attacking. Come on, lads. Get the second goal. Once we get the second goal, I can relax a little. Benjamin Mendy loses out to Fabio Silva. Two minutes of added time. Can we get another goal before the half-time whistle blows? Danny Olmo gives it away to Christiansen. I guess that's understandable. He hasn't played basically all season, so he's probably a little bit not uh, match fit. Chris uh, Beckyard plays the ball in. Danny Olmo in the box. Fabio Silva. Fabio Silva gets his second goal of the game. Makes it 2-0. We are now 3-3 on aggregate. We have the advantage through our away goal in the first leg. We now need to sit on this. They are down to 10 men. We've got the advantage. Uh, Fabio Silva is coming up clutch big time in this game. Kepa nearly keeps that out, but he can't quite do it. Could this be the time we finally, finally get through to the semi-finals? And that's it, half time. We have went to a more control style. Um, we'll try and see this game out now. Nothing stupid, lads, now. I might, uh, maybe about 60 minutes in, I'll probably change back to our other formation, get the defensive uh, defensive midfielder in, and that should hopefully be it. let us see out this game. This corner is actually a highlight. Wagnerman gets his head on it, but Kepa keeps it out. Another highlight, Danny Olmo with the corner. It's played in, Wagnerman's there again. But once again, it goes just wide. Another highlight, Aaron Martin's got the ball this time on the left-hand side. He tries to tries to wonder ball through to Haramillo. Kepa, ooh, that was a little bit dodgy, Wagnerman. Luis Felipe wins the ball, though, and he sets away Wagnerman down this right-hand side. Decent ball in, this is a goal. Danny Olmo, oh, he knocks it over the bar. One more goal would see me completely relax because even a goal by them at that point would mean we're going through to extra time. Um, I think we're going to make that tactical change now. We're going to get Danny Olmo off, and we are going to bring on Lucas Toussaint to try and see out this game just a little bit. I'm not going to go incredibly defensive. Um, we will steer in, in our positive play style, but we'll just need to keep keep it safe. Keep it. Don't be stupid, boys. That's all I'm asking. With the are down to 10 men. We have the advantage. Nothing stupid is required from us as we Vagnermans with the ball. Two sort. Why are you that far up the pitch, two sort? You're a defensive midfielder. Get back. Tenali wins it. Thank God for that. And Aaron Martin can come away now on this left-hand side. Decent ball in, Aaron. Come on. Decent ball. Becky Hart. To somebody. <laughs> Please make a chance to. Oh, Wagnerman. Good strike. Good save by Kepa. Wagnerman with the ball. Again, this highlight hasn't quite ended. I'm assuming it's going to lead a goal. 3-0 up. We are 4-3 up on aggregate. We are in complete control of this match now. Great ball in by uh, Joshua Wagnerman. And Haramillo puts it away for nearly his 30th goal of the season. He's on 29 now. Could he get his 30th in this game? That would be fantastic. Um, but we'll just need to hold out now. We're completely in control. They are neutered uh, after being down to 10 men. They are down to 9 men at the minute with Jorginho off the pitch. Oh, this could be a Chelsea attack though as Hazard. Plays through Calidio. He's in the box. Craig Davies with a great save. But Calidio gets his 16th goal of the season. And he makes it 3-1. We're gone extra time now. I cannot believe we've let that go. They were down to nine men for points during that phase of play. Luis Felipe wins the ball, but completely just goes straight to them. Good save by Craig Davies initially. Oh, man. How are they? They're down to ten men. The five minutes of out of time go completely awry, and we are going extra time. Luis Felipe on a 5.8. He's, he's the reason. We've got a couple of subs we can make. We're going to get Fabio Silva off, unfortunately. I would have liked to have kept him on. Can we make four subs? I'm not sure. No, you'd only make three subs, so you don't get that extra four playing in extra time. So we've made all of our subs now. Tony Lotto, I think, came on, and Moise King came on for Fabio Silva and Aaron Martin. We'll see how this goes. 
I, I don't want to go to penalties. If we go to penalties, I fear we might get knocked out. Highlight just before half time of extra time. It's an indirect free. Oh, the, down to nine men. We've got to go for this man. Come on. Highlight. Thank God for that. Nine minutes to go. Hopefully, it'll be a highlight for us. Brent Becky Yard plays it out to Tonali. Wagnerman, Gan, right man. Moise Keane goes out, out wide instead, and Wagnerman picks it up in the centre. Emerson. Did I bring Emerson on? Oh, I must have brought him on instead of Tony Lartwell. Brent Becky Yard. Becky Yard. Oh, man. It's kind of kind of penalties. And what we don't do well with penalties. I never do. And we are going to penalties. Look at the state of our penalty takers on the field currently. It's not very good. Um, so Becky Art will be our first. Harry Miller our second. I don't want Wagner Man taking our third. We'll get either two. We'll get two sort on. We'll get Moise Keane in there because he's got good composure and finishing stat. And then we'll get Reese Oxford, I guess. There's our five. So, hold on. We'll get this 3D because it's pointless watching it in 2D, really. Eden Hazard steps up for the first penalty of today's game for Chelsea. Craig Davies with the save. Come on, boys. Come on. Brent Beckyart will, of course, be our first. Come on, Brent. Give us a good start. Do not miss this. And he's missed as well. <laughs> Calidio steps up this time for Chelsea. Come on, Davies. You can do it again. He's right. Taking it with his right. Davies saves again. Now, just just score this, Harry Miller. Put us in the lead. Take the pressure off our other takers and put the pressure all on them. Harry Miller, very fortunate to go in. That was incredibly poor penalty, but they didn't manage to save it. If Davies can save this, we are well and truly in the driver's seat. Not this time, not this time, but we just need to keep the pressure up. Toussaint steps up. Come on, Toussaint. Put it in the back of the net, please. Oh, Toussaint has missed. We're back level. Absolutely dreadful penalty shootout this is. Christiansen steps up for Chelsea. Please save. Oh, he puts it away. We are we are now well under pressure. Moyes Keane steps up with an awful penalty taken start. Absolutely awful. I think it's eight. Come on, Moyes. He misses. I think we're going out. Benjamin Mendy steps up and if he scores this, we're out. Benjamin Mendy steps up, and if he scores, it's done. And there it is. We scored one penalty in five. They were down to nine men. And we'll get knocked out Champions League quarterfinals again. Oh, listen, lads. I'm not going to go through the rigmarole of the end of season crap. I don't know when the next episode will be. It'll probably just be an end of season review, I think. Because we've pretty much got the Premier League title wrapped up. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like and if you're enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. Until next time, take it easy.